Hey, good morning, guys. So today is the uh, unboxing, putting together slash trying out video for my new drill press. It's an Einhell model BT DB401 blue. It's basically the lowest price one they have, I think. Um, I bought this at a local hardware store for about a hundred bucks. So. Let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. Actually, I already did open it, but I didn't really uh, check it out too close yet. Has some of this nice uh, rust resistant paper. I see, see here the, uh, the base, looks good. Has some welded on nuts in the bottom. That must be where the column is going to uh, screw on. I believe this is uh, sheet metal, stamped sheet metal, pretty pretty heavy gauged, but still sheet metal. Then uh, ground or machine somehow surfaces here. This here appear, appears to be the uh, drill press table, and I see it has some kind of index sticker that's unfortunately uh, come almost completely off. So I'm going to push that back on, hopefully it stays. And that's so you can uh, turn the table, you know, tilt the table left or right. And I can see that there's a bolt here where you can loosen. And then I'm sure you can, you know, rotate that and, you know, hopefully index it onto the sticker and then tighten it back up. So this is made out of uh, apparently cast iron. I see some tools in here, some uh, Allen bolts. Also the handles for the, uh, what's it called, the quill? I'm not sure. Uh, the, the part that you turn to feed the uh, head down. What is in this box? Small white box. Ah, the chuck. The chuck and the chuck key. I did read on the box that this chuck works between 1.5 millimeters and 13 millimeters, so that's uh, 1 16th to 1 half inch, just more than 1 half inch. Manuals. Here is the uh, column. Also nice that it's uh, wrapped in some wax paper or whatever with some uh, grease on it. Keep it from corroding. Looks like a cast iron uh, piece here. Some kind of you know, tubed steel. And then finally, the main part, the motor. It's here. I read that this was a 350 watt motor. And the machine is capable to go, I want to say, about 400 RPMs to 3000. I'm not sure about that. Uh, five different speeds based on the uh, belt location here. So this appears to be definitely a cast iron body. Okay, let's see if I can assemble this without really looking at the directions. So first thing I'm gonna try to do is just bolt this column right onto the base. We have uh, three standard washers and uh, three locking washers. So I'm gonna use those here too. Actually, before I do that, let me take a look on the bottom to make sure there's nothing to do to secure the column to the cast iron piece. I don't think so, but uh, just in case. It seems that this uh, tube is just press fitted into the cast iron. Um, I'm glad I did take a look though, now I was able to get the rest of that, um, you know, plastic off or paper or whatever it is. But I really think that's just press fitted in, so. I also noticed that this is rounded, so I think they're leaving a little bit of uh, a relief in, for you, anything that you may have. Or Actually, I can feel that this tube is slightly below the cast iron surface, so uh, that must be what that uh, rounded relief is for. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on now. Okay, with the uh, column bolted onto the base, I think the next thing I'll try to do is slide this uh, table on. 
easy and I'll tighten it up a little bit one thing I did I did read in the manual was that you shouldn't have to do any lubrication uh, when you assemble and use this the first time so I wanted to make sure of that so that I didn't you know miss oiling something in the motor or me mechanisms before using it I think I'm gonna have to glue this sticker on myself a little bit better because it is uh, coming up again. Okay, that looks good. I can feel that this base, see, there's a little bit warped or maybe the table is a bit warped. I'm not sure which one. I bet it's the base though, but I don't know. Okay, so uh, that's pretty easy so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the main part, the main body on. Oh, it's a bit heavy as it should be. It looks pretty straightforward. There's a, you know, in the cast iron body, there's a machined bore. Interestingly, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, in the inside where it's not machined and not painted, it actually has like a, a layer of rust on the inside. That's not wonderful, but uh, I guess it doesn't hurt nothing. I like how heavy this is, but uh, I don't know if that's typical or not, but it feels nice. They didn't do a great job on the stickering, though. This one also is like not stuck all that well. Looks like they just slapped a sticker on without caring about it too much. Alright, let's go ahead and try to drop this on. Okay, that went on pretty easy. I guess I'll just eyeball it to try to get it the right, you know, straightness, and then I see that there's a, a set. Um, let me turn it. A little uh, set Allen bolt right there. I'm not sure what that one does. Maybe that one also is a set one, so I'm going to try to eyeball it straight and then go ahead and tighten those. As you might be able to see right here, it's kind of like the paint has been heated and bubbled right where the welds are. Definitely the finish on this machine isn't super high quality. I, I can see some, I don't know if it's dirt or what it is, that was uh, underneath the paint. Okay, so far the assembly has been really easy. Okay, you need a screwdriver, maybe, to get into the uh, belts. What is going on back there? Let's go ahead and move on then to uh, putting these handles on. It looks really easy. You just thread them on here. This one isn't threading in all the way. Don't know why. Let me try this other hole. Okay, it seems to be going. Mm. Now it's getting really tight, so I think I'll stop there before I break anything. Yeah, it's nice and tight though, at least. Then this one was the worst, worst offender, so let's see if we can talk it into going a little bit further. Pretty tight. Okay, you got it. Maybe quarter turn more, half a turn more, but it seems to be about it. I'll leave it alone like that. They're nice and snug now anyway. Okay. 
That was easy. Maybe I should uh, try to press it on a little bit. Okay. Okay, I finally got this open. I don't know what the deal was with it. What I ended up doing, what kind of worked is I lifted up, I was lifting up, pulling up on the, uh, the lid while unscrewing at the same time. And my idea was that whatever it was over here would, you know, get grip and, and it did. And that worked. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I have, when I opened it, this washer fell into the bin, into the bottom, and this lock ring fell in. I don't know what they're for really or why they fell in. Um, another thing I notice is like the paint is chipping off of this piece and also here I notice it's chipping off and I can see some rust under it so I think all this uh, all this raised area I see in the paint is probably surface rust. I can see there's a safety switch here so when the box is closed probably the motor won't run or when the box is open probably the motor doesn't run. Wow look at that paint it's really bubbly and loose it's gonna fall off hope you can see that it's pretty bad that's a pain I may just leave it like that anyway let's figure out uh, which pulley to put it in I don't know I'd imagine a lot of times I'll just use it around 1000 rpm so I see we have um, position B as they call it is 950 RPM that's with this one on uh, D which is the second from the top there and second from the top on this one too Okay. And the way this works is this: there's a hinge on the back that the motor is on, so the motor can hinge like this. And then there's a spring here, so it should, you know, spring out to a, a, the correct tension. And then you tighten this to set it. I have a feeling maybe the spring isn't quite as strong. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna try it. Just let it be. So go like that. Let the spring choose the tension, then I'm just going to tighten this down like that. Okay, and I think we're just about ready to turn this thing on and see how it works. Okay, here we go, let's turn it on. Okay, it's working. This here is uh, for that shield, <clears throat> but really, I don't want this. I, I don't think I'll need it, so I'm going to remove this too. One thing I noticed is, and I think this is common, is uh, the stop is unfortunately connecting to this plastic piece so when you hit the stop there is a little bit of deflection so it's not 100 percent precise you wouldn't be able to make um you know with like an end mill you wouldn't be able to plunge a very very precise depth because depending on how hard you pulled this would depend on how far down it would go so but uh for most purposes it'll be fine until it, maybe it breaks one day but Anyway, let's uh, let's drill something.
Okay, that was the unboxing, setup, and test of the Einhell BT BD401. I think this drill press is going to serve my purposes very nicely. I think I'm going to use it a lot. I can imagine just turning around, making some holes real easily instead of using my hand drill. So, pretty happy about it. One thing to note though, I did read in the instructions that it said this is not to be used for uh, you know professional purposes. Don't use this in a factory or something like that. And it said if you do, then there's no warranty, no guarantee, and please don't do it, etc., etc. Uh, and it also said do not leave running for more than 15 minutes straight, or the motor will overheat. I actually think it's amazing that you can get so much for only a hundred bucks and I'm sure in the US you can get something similar for even less probably half of that that's typically the way it goes um, but to me a hundred bucks for this I mean there's no way I could build anything remotely close to this quality for a hundred bucks and it would take me months uh, you'll probably see this a lot in some videos coming up and I'll make a new video if I find anything uh, strange about it or any problems or anything to add so Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, have a nice day. Ciao.